So then in 2005, the Michael Jackson case. Well, before this case, Michael Jackson was accused of child sexual abuse in 1993. Um, he ended up settling with the family out of court, right? Yes. And the prosecutors ended up dropping the criminal investigation after the accuser stopped cooperating. Did you and Michael talk about that case? Michael Jackson told me in no uncertain terms that settling that case in 1994 was the biggest mistake he'd ever made. He should never have settled it. He should have fought it through a trial. He would have won. It was an absurd case. But he was advised, he told me, by lawyers, by business advisors, to settle it and get rid of it, that he had bigger fish to fry, bigger projects to, to get involved in, that the money would be a drop in the bucket compared to what he was capable of making around the world, and that diverting everybody's attention because of the publicity attached to this civil case was a mistake. Uh, he followed his advisor's you know, suggestions. He paid money. And what it really did was it opened Pandora's box because suddenly everybody on the planet began suing him, thinking they could make an easy buck suing Michael Jackson. I mean, employees were suing him. Uh, people he met on the street were suing him. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he told me that was the biggest mistake he ever made was not fighting that till the end. How much did he settle for in that case? Well, allegedly it was around $20 million. Wow. There, there are differing opinions as to how much it was. I was not involved in that case and yeah. I was not involved in that settlement. I had to deal with it because to my shock, the trial judge in the criminal case that I defended allowed evidence that he had settled cases to come into the trial. I had never seen that before. I thought it was highly prejudicial, but the judge let it in. So I had to deal with the fact that the jury knew he had settled two other cases. Uh, the judge didn't let the dollar amounts come into the courtroom, but people knew what they were. Um, I had to deal with that. And basically, as I said a second ago, I told the jury that he was advised to do this, that he would make far more money than this. He was the, great, the world's greatest singer, choreographer, the greatest artist, the greatest dancer, that he should get rid of this case, that the money was a drop in the bucket, and he unfortunately followed that advice. Uh, okay. So then there was a documentary that came out in 2003 called Living with Michael Jackson. And in that documentary, they showed him holding hands with a, a young boy named Gavin Arvizo. And he also talked about how he would have kids sleeping, you know, in this large bed of his. And that actually triggered his 2005 case. That's correct. There was a documentary uh, that was made by uh, someone named Martin Bashir. Unfortunately, he convinced Michael that he would be a very fair documentary filmmaker that, according to Michael, because I wasn't involved in this, uh, Michael said the man told him that he would make him, uh, he would treat him very fairly uh, he would show what a wonderful artist and father he was. And Michael was expecting this documentary to be very positive. It turned out, turned out to be exactly the opposite. But Michael did something very smart. He wouldn't conduct any interview with this producer without having his own videographer present. So we had the parts that were included in the documentary and we had the outtakes that were not included in the documentary. Mm -hmm. And there was a tremendous difference between what this producer portrayed Michael as in the documentary and what he was saying to him in the outtakes he did not include. So what happened in the trial was the prosecutors wanted permission from the court and the judge to use this documentary and show it to the jury. And I, I acted like I didn't want them to. I actually did. Because, first of all, a lot, a lot of that documentary, I thought, would be very appealing to a jury. You show a very young Michael Jackson performing as a child. You show him grow and develop. You show his enormous talent. He sings. You know, the, the music just takes over, you know, the atmosphere. So the press fixated on a couple of quotes they thought were very damaging to Michael Jackson, I focused on the other parts, which I thought were very favorable to him, and I wanted the judge to let us use the outtakes that weren't included. 
where the producer, Mr. Bashir, told him he was a great father. He was learning wonderful things from him. I mean, the outtakes were very different from the spirit of the documentary, as far as I'm concerned. So both came in. The documentary came in the prosecution's case. The outtakes came in our case. And the rest is history. He was acquitted of every count.